Okay. Okay. We're starting out the vlog with this pump not stopping on its own and just dumping gas all over the freaking place. What in the f just happened? Good job, Texaco. You suck. I had to pay for that too. That's what's stupid is I just paid for all that gas that poured all over my truck. Ethan's here, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. We're starting with that. <laughs> uh, today's probably gonna be an interesting one aside from that because I finally got some traction boards and we're gonna take the trucks out to some sand and put them to the test. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've been stuck pretty bad a bunch of times. <laughs> And I finally decided I needed to put some effort into getting some traction boards. So these are from Off Terrain. Those guys sent them out for me to try. And uh, I'm pretty pumped. For, I've never had legitimately good recovery equipment with the exception of straps and ropes and stuff. But we're gonna try these traction boards out, which means let's go get stuck. You ready to go? Yep. I'll follow you. Okay. We'll start this thing up. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire from all this stupid gas. I love the way this truck sounds. <laughs> We're here. Ethan's truck is being parked here. We're gonna head off to find some sand that we get stuck in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You ready to get stuck and hopefully get out? Yeah. Hopefully I don't have to walk too far back to your truck. Just so everyone's clear, we're not gonna air down the tires. We're not gonna do any of the normal things we would do when you're driving in sand because the goal of today is to get stuck and see how good those traction boards work. Hopefully we just don't get too stuck. Stuck enough to try things out, not so stuck that we get stuck. <laughs> this one. <laughs> okay. We we might need to put it in four wheel drive to even make it anywhere. Oh gosh, and I have no power steering. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the worst truck. I don't want to break the truck, so we have to get stuck without breaking anything. And I'm going to be totally honest, I don't think this truck would make it out here if I get stuck. Yeah, my, so, my truck's heavy. Yeah, so what is that? That is a gas tank. Nice. Right there in the middle of the road. Dude, free gas tank. We didn't really think this through, Ethan. If I get stuck, your truck's not gonna make it to wherever I get well, stuck. We're not, well, we're not gonna get that stuck. We got these things that we're gonna be effective. Oh my gosh, it's so steep. Yeah. <laughs> bad idea, isn't it? Yeah. Hold on, let me get out and just show the people this. <laughs> it doesn't look that bad, but honestly, I'm surprised that I didn't drag my front bumper. I'm surprised you didn't drag anything. I know, that like, was hitch, nothing. That was impressive, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm 0 for 2 making it up this hill. And where these holes are is pretty obviously where I'm losing traction. So we're trying this. Because <laughs> honestly, I know we came out here to get stuck, but I'm afraid of getting stuck. <laughs> we're out in the middle of freaking nowhere. Absolutely nothing nearby. I mean, there's train tracks, but trains aren't really helpful on getting us unstuck. Fully 
of these, but I feel like it helped a little. I also just kept more speed and risk breaking stuff, so. What do you think? Um, should we just put it in two-wheel drive and floor it right here and see if we get stuck and then try to... Yeah, see if we can bury them? Yeah. <laughs> mention is with these traction boards you don't want to spin your tires on them but if you do these are replaceable you just undo those and you can replace all of the treads on it and so to put them in you go knobby side up so your tire has traction just jam it in honestly it's probably a little farther than that if you can I mean it's sand it's easy digging just Dig a little more. Like that, because the, the goal of these is not to stay in place. You actually want it to suck under your tire and that will lift you up and out. This sand is still soft enough that I'm still in two-wheel drive, so we just got stuck again. But if you have four or six of these, you can lay out a track for yourself to keep driving on once you're up and out of the hole. And remember, if you are stuck, you have all the time in the world to get unstuck, because you're not going anywhere until you're unstuck. So if you have to, you just keep leapfrogging yourself out of here. Which is exactly what we're doing for this video, because we might as well just keep using the product we came out here to test. Do you even look at what you film? No, no Not I don't. Every time I look over at you, you're just holding the camera like sideways, talking to nothing. <laughs> All right, Ethan's got this side dug out. I'm just gonna close this. Wow! You failed it! This side can come out again. Or is it like, is the bed tweaked? <laughs> oh, those are closed. That's what it was. All right, ready for round two? Yep. This is showing how soft this sand really is. <laughs> In stuff that's as soft as this, if you didn't have a shovel, you could just dig out with these. Round three. three tries you can see all the holes where we stopped basically as soon as we got off these boards we started sinking again so thank goodness we have these I'm happy with that product proven worth the investment I think what should we do now I'm thinking we try to go up that 
Let's try it. I don't even know if that's sand or dirt or what, but we're gonna try it. From here, it doesn't look too bad, but I've said that before and it's not been the case in the past. soft stuff driving on this road that apparently has no end and it looks like maybe some mining going on out there so we're just gonna try to make it to that now so in the process of going to there we got stuck again in some sand we found we'll see if we can get out of this or if we need some traction board action random sand pits out here and uh yeah i'm just gonna leave it in four wheel drive out here making our own roads this isn't intentional and we're not in an area with anything that's endangered just for you people that are going to complain that i'm not staying on the path the path ran out and there was nowhere to turn around so now we're just yelling we're trying to find our way out of here <laughs> look at we're not the only ones there's tire trucks out here yeah <laughs> <laughs> Probably a side by side, but. 2,000 years later. Literally, like in probably 30 to 40 <laughs> minutes later, we found a road. A really nice road. Holy Seriously, cow. This is like freshly graded. We did it! These are some sweet boulders. Yeah. So we made it out here. It's just so cool. Ethan has decided to start climbing. <laughs> sketchy, kind of. Just based on how loose all these other rocks are, that's kind of sketchy up there. This last 10 feet pretty sketchy. Don't do anything stupid, we're a long way from help. This last little bit, everything's just super crumbly, like it just falls apart on you. If you got all the way up, and it wasn't sketchy, you could walk the whole ledge to over there. That's what I was kind of thinking. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> Tumbleweed dust devil! All of Miles hopes and dreams right here! <laughs> she got stuck on the antenna! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're done, we're safe. Ethan made it off the rock wall. The truck made it unstuck with the help of the traction boards from off terrain. And we're headed home. Don't forget to like the video, comment what you want to see. We've got some Power Cult merch coming out soon, so keep your eye out for that. Uh, we'll be doing a giveaway with that. And uh, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.